And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Chicago Cubs going up against the New York Mets. John Shambi and Chris Singleton on the call. So the Chicago Cubs come into game four of this series with a chance to sweep. That's something that's not easy to do at this level against any opponent, Chris. Well, you know these guys are feeling really good showing up to the ballpark today. Warm-ups, batting practice, everyone's smiling, bouncing around, and they don't want to change anything that's helped get them the wins in the first three games. A big opportunity today, and they'll try to keep those positive vibes going. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about ready for baseball. And on the hill, a soft tossing lefty, just like you, Chris, Jose Quintana. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. pitch in the air right field pretty well struck Marte drop step going back and it's caught just in front of the wall here's a look at the Cubs lineup this is a ball club that can really slug lots of homers lots of extra base hits and Chris that of course a huge part of success in the standings for this group well, if you're going to be successful in today's game, you've got to be able to hit the ball over the fence. Just defensively, very hard to find the holes. And when you're talking about guys you know, coming out of the bullpen, throwing 95 and above, very difficult. It's hard to string together two, three, four hits to score those runs. So definitely critical to hit those homers, get the extra base knocks, and that's exactly what they've been doing. Trey Whoa, Turner yeah. in the box here lets that one go for a ball. You know, power is such a big part of the success that we see with the good teams in the league right now and even in the postseason. One out, base is empty. That's nope, outside. That's the and okay. a count two and one. And now the lefty. That Ball one three. misses. And now three and one. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. Line in the pitch. <laughs> Bounce to Narvaez. And he takes it himself for the out. That is her. The first baseman. John. Here's Josh Naylor. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. That one ripped. And it's gone. A gigantic blast. His second homer this series. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. No, Boog, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. It would have been a long strike, but instead... Batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Now Trout gets a chance to hit with six hits in the series coming into this one. That one in there to Mike Trout. Oh, one's the count.
Two down, base is empty, but one run across here in the finale of this four-game set. And that is ball one. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Outside. Two outs. That one is absolutely belted. And it one hops the wall. And into second easily with a two out double. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball, and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. And a foul ball. Trap stands at second with two gone. Foul ball there. And it's second. Now a blooper back behind Shore. Makes the play, and it's out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. Back here at City Field. And our pitcher tonight, Herman Marquez. He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four. But this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. Starling Marte up to him. For the Mets. The Marte, way. a multi-gold glove award winner, hitting Marte. leadoff in today's game. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. The pitch. That oh, misses. One and oh. And yeah, that's in for a strike. Well, as a hitter, you're yeah, hoping ball, that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Here's a one one. And a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. He needed that one. It's been that a tough exactly. stretch at the plate lately. Exactly. Everything was on time yeah. and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the ball on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. Jeff McNeil stands in. Collected three hits in the loss yesterday. That one is upstairs. Nobody out. Runner at first. And that's off the inside edge. Two balls, no strikes. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Naylor calls it in, and there's one away. Here's a Mets lineup now. 
No an important here. piece, but a guy that's been struggling a little bit. They're DH in this one. Ronnie Mauricio. Well, you see the batting average there, and it doesn't get a whole lot uglier than that, unfortunately. But at this point, I think he's just got to put the numbers out of his head completely. There's a pretty good chance he's not going to get them where they need to be by the end of the season. So you hit the reset button, and you say, how can I be productive today? Most of all, how can I help my team win ball games? I think when you get that kind of focus, the numbers will follow. Brandon oh. Nimmo at the plate and takes high there. Man at first, one away. Wouldn't that chase that time. Count. Here it comes. They had a foul ball. Oh, and another you. ball. On the ground, two ball. Turner, two down. He's out. Batting four. The third baseman, Francisco. Francisco Lindor Lindo. comes up to the plate. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Good fastball going early until they show they can make some good contact. You keep on throwing the pitch. Runner at second, two down. Line drive. That's a base hit coming home. Now a long throw home. It's all good. The run comes in. It's one run. Well done. Drives in the run. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. So two down, Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. Not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently. Just one hit in his last five games. Pitch the misses plate, there. Ball one. Ball one. Tied up here in the early going. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. I got a ball, one strike. At the belt and fires. That one fouled off. Right side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even at one apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Queens. New inning getting started. So up now for Chicago, Dansby Swanson.
The wind of the pitch. The oh. shortstop takes the ball. Quintana, a former All Star, he features a sinker, a four seamer, a curve, a changeup, and occasionally mixes in the slur. And yeah, that's a little high. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, right? Exactly. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. <laughs> Pretty simple plan of attack on the mound right there, huh? Yeah, nothing but fastballs. They just kept putting down the number one and letting it fly. I liked it. Yeah, me too, and I'd love to hit against that. But, of course, when you're in the box, you think he's bound to change speeds on you at some point. You're just kind of locked up, sort of like reverse psychology. And next for the Cubs, Seiya Suzuki. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Hey. Swings over the top of that one. Good one late one. sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then... By the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Good Whoa, eye in right that there. spot. One down, base is empty. Bounce to third, Lindor. Zips it to Got first. It. Two up, two down. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. That Get a guy to roll over a little bit, the hit the ball on the ground, really kill some good. worms while you're at it. Contreras. And now it's William Contreras. <laughs> right side, hard hit. Tossed to Narvaez, oh. and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Cubs are down quietly. Score remains deadlocked at one. And we're back. Leading and now the DH, the Ronnie Mauricio. The designated hitter, Ronnie Mauricio. The right-hander back to work. Whoa. And downstairs. That's ripped. And this one could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's there with a lead-off double. He was all over that one. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his back through the ball, and didn't pull off and roll his hands over it. And that allowed him to whip that ball down the line for the double. Tyrone Taylor now at the plate. Right through there for a strike. Runner at second, nobody out.
Line drive. Adam in center field. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Next up, Patty it's in. the first year shortstop, Luis Angel Acuna. to the left side. Swanson tosses across the first. Now two away. Batting nine. The first baseman. Omar Narvaez. Omar Narvaez at the plate. the ground out to short Swanson oh. fires over to first and the inning is over Mets leave one score remains tied 1-1 one, one. top half of the third oh. inning now it'll be the Cubs DH oh. Owen Casey Owen. Casey Quintana back to work. Ball inside, one of the pitch one. inside. Swung on, belted. Marte drop step going back. And that ball is gone. And that should quiet this old crowd. His second of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 2 1. So many times a sinker inside is a foul ball off the ankle for the batter. But that time he did a really nice job of staying inside the pitch and getting through it. to the top of the lineup. Here's the Cubs leadoff man, O'Neill Cruz. He's 0 for 1. Check swing got? to the first pitch. Look down to third. And no swing, says James Kingsley. Nobody on. Nobody out with a run in here in the finale of this four-game set. That one finds the zone. And one and one. But you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Hey. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, he looks fresh one out there. Just two needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Here comes a pitch. And that one missing low. One run across in the frame so far. We're here in the top half of inning number three. To short Acuna. Tosses the first one away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the home. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Play. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Trey Turner at the plate. there and that's ball one mm -hmm. 
One down, base is empty. Foul ball. The one one is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Waves a defender for the strikeout. Now batting. And now it's Josh yeah. Naylor. He's already homered here in this one. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Marte brings it in for the third out. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. And the home team down a run. Back after this on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Starling Marte. Marte. And the pitch. And Whoa, ball one to the right out. fielder. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Kicks and fires. And now one and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Center field. Trout settles under it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The batter, number one, second baseman. And now here's Jeff McNeil. The MO for him is contact. The guy who's going to deliver average, not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Well, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two-hole hitter or a guy that you could put at the bottom to help turn that lineup over to have some momentum for your top hitters coming up to the plate. That clips the corner. The Cubs up by a run here in the last half of the third. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Here's Brandon Nimmo. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Hey. And there's the strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Right through there for a strike. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Next oh, one is off the plate. And the count is one and two. It's a good take. McNeil leads off first with one away. Swings and misses. Two gone now. 
Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two strike pitch right there. At worst case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly what he and the catcher wanted. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. And nope. a good eye there. Counts one and oh. And the one oh. Go right. swing and a miss. And that's yeah, strike one. one. Strike. Late with the swing there. Threw that one fastball ball. right by Three him, strike. slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Two outs. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Contreras down to first with it. That completes the strikeout inning over. Met strand one, and they trail it here two to one. City Field, John Chompy with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Mike Trout. And he deals. And a strike in there. Trout, 32 years old. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Here comes the 01. Fought off foul. And a pitch. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. The line to kick the pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and deals. And it stays fair. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second. Not in time. It's a double. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition. And he's got speed to put on a show. Now, Garrett Cooper. Just oh, missed. Out. You know, these Cubs showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Taylor makes the grab, one down. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the oh, ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. Dansby Swanson stands in. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And that one pulled foul. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark, you're a little late, opposite field knock. 
One out and a runner at second. Runner breaks for third. Pitch misses. Over to third, but the throw's offline. That stolen base right there was all about to jump off the pitcher. He got a nice lead, timed him up perfectly, and was off to the races as soon as that pitcher went home. That's how you want to do it. That excites the entire team over there in the dugout. And here it comes. And that one is lifted in the air. And Swanson is set down. Runner tags for home. The throw is off the line, and he's in to score. And they take a two-run lead. Sometimes all you got to do is your job, and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play, and a nice job with the sack fly. Suzuki oh. takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. That's ball two. Two balls, one strike. Mm -hmm. Top ah. of the zone for a called strike. And a pitch. That one back up the middle and it gets through. And that keeps the inning going. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now a chance for William Contreras. Yeah. That one catches the zone. It's 0-1. Suzuki, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. No balls, two strikes. Two outs. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And now the lefty. One and ball, that one is inside ball one. Mm. And a pitch. Ball. Two two to the count.
That one just misses. Full count now. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. This one popped up. Acuna drifts towards it. Brings it in. And that is that. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Cubs three and the Mets one. Ready to go. Ready to go. Bottom four. four. The Here's the catcher, the Francisco catcher. Alvarez. Francisco. Alvarez. And the right hater back to work. Smoked on the ground a second. Turner with the throw to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping Number the ball 10. out of the yeah, air. Let's hitter. the defense work behind him with Ronnie. another ground ball. Good execution. Mauricio. Ronnie Mauricio now doubled in his first A.B. That one inside, and that is ball one. The Cubbies leading by two. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Base hit, center field. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Tyrone Taylor up now for the Mets. He's over one. There's a strike. Righty delivers. Strike two. Oh, two with the count. The pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. He recognized the rotation of the baseball out of the hand, stayed tall on the backside, and crushed that pitch the other way. So up next for New York, Luis Angel Acuna. Grounded out his first time up. Last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. One out. Runners at first and second. Two on, one out. Not two even close two there. Two and two. And the righty deals. And him swinging for the K. He swung over top of the curveball. Oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. No, two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, no, and oh, yeah. I'd say in a very hittable location. But clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through. So up next, Omar Narvaez.
And that one fouled off. Pitches outside. Out. Two on, two outs. And that's a pretty hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Well, it's a home game, and he scores. And it's a one run game. This confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Just a solid swing right there. How about Barney? Lift it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now the right fielder, Starling Marte. One for two. Fouled off. He was late. on first and third two away swing and a ball hit out towards left center field Marte retired and that's the inning but they pick up one run on the RBI single it's now a 3-2 ball game it's Major League Baseball and it's on the show Back here in Queens, now it's the DH, Owen Casey. Owen Casey. Quintana back to work. Swing and a foul straight back. You know, these Cubs doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. In the air, foul off first. Drifts towards it. He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing yeah, on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. So the lineup flips over. And up next for Chicago, O'Neill Cruz. He's been going after these guys consistently. And as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Misses nope. inside. 1 0. Oh. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Checks his swing, appeal to third, and James Kingsley says he won around. Ground ball, left side, Acuna. In plenty of time to first, and the first two set down at the top of the fifth. The batter will be seven. Second base. Play. Two outs, base is empty. Trey Turner, the next cup to hit. Just nope. missed. Two down, nobody on. Here in the finale of this four-game set. 
Next offering upstairs. And a foul ball. Wormburner into the outfield for a knock. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it, just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. And now Josh Naylor. And first offering is fouled off. Turner off of first with two away. Swing and a miss. And oh, that is strike right. two. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. to first and he breaks for second to second and he's, he's out. out and that'll do it we head to the bottom of the go. fifth down the number two hitter Jeff McNeil He turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm oh, delivers. Pitch misses, and it's one to know. Oh, Just missed. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. Two one on the way. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And there's one away. Nothing instills more confidence in a team than a center fielder who makes a great play like that on the run. They can feed off the energy he brings just from his playmaking abilities. At the plate now. That's ball, ball one. one. No strike. Left hand batter waits. That's, That's ball a little two. bit low. Home team down a run. Last half of inning number five. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. One down, base is empty. On the ground, right side. Toss to Naylor, oh. and now two gone. The batter, the third baseman, Francisco. Here's Francisco Lindor. Lindor. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. That's outside. The one oh. Right. right through there for a strike. That's a hit. 
extends the inning. Throw is low, and it gets by. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Now it's going to be Francisco hey. Alvarez. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Marquez over to first. Lidor back in there. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Go to second. Out oh, there. And the inning is over. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Top six. So up now for Chicago, Josh Naylor. Josh Naylor. The wind of the pitch. Wouldn't Count chase that up. time. Mm. Next nope. one misses. And that's ball two. Line in the pitch. Ground ball nope, right side, foul. and that's just foul. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Here's the 2-2. Bounce that off to the left, and we'll do it again. That one missed. Count. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That one lifted to left. Nimmo makes a nice running catch. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play, and it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. Knocks it down. That's why you run hard 90 feet. Take nothing for granted, especially when you've got great speed. You'll take the infield knock. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Jose Quintana won't go any further tonight, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming on. We'll be back in a minute. 
Adam Adovino getting the call to the mound. He last pitched two days ago. Garrett Cooper getting ready to hit. No Damn. strikes. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jake Diekman, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. Hmm. Trout, the base runner at first with one out. And that one fouled off. The 1 1. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Lead runner around second. Roll into third. Not in time. He's safe. Back to back base hits. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Next for the Cubs, Dansby Swanson. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Brothers at the corners, one away. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Upstairs. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next offering is down low. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Hammered but foul. First and third, one down. And another ball with a lay off that pitch down. Seiya Suzuki on deck for the Cubs. Righty to the plate. In the air, right field. Marte going after it. Makes the grab, and that should get the job done as he tags from third. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Now that left fielder, they, uh, Suzuki. So digging in, Seiya Suzuki. through there for a strike. Well, and at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Two outs. Foul ball there. Two. Swing and a miss and a change up in the dirt. On to first. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. 
We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Cubs four and the Mets two. Bottom of the six, and here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez. The pitch. Ripped, but it curls foul. Well, these Mets, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've logged six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Going oh, two now. They That's tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Right-hander kicks, deals. On the ground, Turner. And that's He's one up. out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now batter, the designated hitter, Robbie. Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Ronnie Mauricio. First pitch, and That's he inside. just misses. The Mets down by a pair here in the bottom of the sixth. Round off the middle. That's a base hit. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Diving on the swing was good. Able to really shoot the ball up the middle. Oh, yeah. Scored up as much as he probably would have wanted. Yeah. That's a good approach paying off. Runner on at first with one gone. Tyrone Taylor up now for the Mets. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you can find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And the old one. Check you swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. Here comes a pitch. Rip to first, caught. Dives for the bag. Got him. Double play. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We're through six full. It's the Cubs four and the Mets two. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Jake Diekman. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And now the catcher comes up to him. William Contreras. William Contreras. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side. Same side he throws from. The pitch. And oh, that's, that's off the, the inside edge. And that's ball one. Diekman, a 6'4 lefty. He features a four-seam mm -hmm. fastball, a slider, and he works in a sinker. This to third. And a quick oh. out number one. Now that designated hit. Oh, uh, and now the DH, Owen Casey. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? <laughs> now.
That yeah. one in there across the letters. Oh, and one. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off speed pitches may be a good compliment hey. to that fastball. Next offering is in for a strike. Base is empty one away here at the top half of inning number seven. One down, base is empty. One ball, two strikes. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Two gone. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Cruz in the box now. No balls and a strike. Two out spaces empty. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one back. That's down. One hops off the wall. Cruz into second, and he's got a double. Everything came together for him. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Here's Turner now. One for three. He gets the attention to walk here and now will force it any base with two gone. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, yeah, but I totally understand going feature. with the intentional walk no. in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. There's a strike. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Cruz over at second. Turner at first. Two out of the inning. Kicks and fires. Now a screamer into the outfield. That's a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He scores, and they're up by three. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Here's Trout. Three for threes, doubled twice, and single. And a good eye there. Corners are occupied with two down. Line and a base hit into right. In to score is the runner from third. It's 6 2. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. 
Left-hander out of the bullpen, Joey Lucchese. Well, he's had trouble at times keeping the ball in the park this season. Something to keep in mind here. Now it's the right fielder, Garrett Cooper. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Smash short center. And that's the third out. So two runs in the inning, three hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Cubs six and the Mets two. And we're back. Lead Set up. for the last Lead half up. of the seventh. Stepping not in, Luis Angel Acuna. The pitch. In ball the dirt. One, no and that's ball one. And a pitch. That clips the corner. Make it bad right here. One one. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. Here's a 1-1. Tap of the zone and it's called a strike. On the ground right side. Trey Turner gloves it. Tosses the first. One up, one down. Now that the first baseman. Omar Narvaez. And stepping in for New York, Omar Narvaez. First offering is fouled off. Yeah, the right hander deals. Lifted in the air now the left side. Suzuki has a beat on it. Makes the catch for the out. And there's two away. The right fielder, number six. And Starling. now the right fielder, Starling Marte. Marte. And it's fouled away. He swings and fouls one off. Oh, and two now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Two down. Nobody on. And that's downstairs and outside. The pitch. Got it. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing for the Mets. They still trail it here. It's six to two. We go to the eighth, and here is Dansby Swanson. As the lefty gets to work. And nope. that misses outside. off the outside edge. 
Action in the pen down there. Brooks Raley, the left-hander, up and throwing. The lefty fires. The shortstop takes the ball. That one misses, and it's 3-0. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That catches the top part of the zone, and now 3-1. Back-to-back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. A 3 1. And a foul ball. of the pitch on the ground is short Acuna first Got out it. in the top of the eight now that the left here, they, uh, the at the play Seiya Suzuki Pitch doesn't find the zone. Movement in the bullpen. Jose Marte up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Love Lady also throwing. Oh, Just missed. to kick the pitch that's in there strike one ripped to third and caught it's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove but you will get some high fives you know when you make great contact you feel like you've done everything right but in this game of baseball not everything is in your control. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. They lead it 6-2. to two. Of the eighth leading, leading off, off Jet Mets. McNeil. The second the Mets in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Marquez back to work. Fought off foul. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. You'll one. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Cooper calls it in, and there's one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel no it up either. enough to really Number drive nine. it. Brandon Nimmo digs in now. Nimmo. 
Zero for three with two ground outs and a strikeout. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. Wouldn't that chase that time. 2 0. Oh. The Cubs leading by four here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. That ball one three. misses. And that's ball three. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And there's the automatic. One down, base is empty. And that's ball four. That's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but yeah, now man. at least he gets a fresh start yeah, against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really nope, important to getting back into this ball game. Lindor, the next to hit, takes ball one. Now just about to hit that century mark, a hundred pitches for this game. The 1-0. And ball. another ball. No, The Mets down by four here in the finale of this four game set. Pitch that's misses, and that's ball three. Three balls, no strike. Now, time called. Pitching coach coming out for a meeting as two relievers continue to throw in the bullpen. Right through there for a strike. Hey. On the inside corner for a strike. Down to three and two. In the air, left field. Suzuki has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now batting, catcher, Francisco. Alvarez. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Right side, Turner gets it to first, and that is the third out of the inning. We're back, it's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Brooks Raley. He's been so good against lefties. Now it's the DH, Owen Casey. He's Owen Casey. It's already homered in this game.
That hey. one finds the corner, and it's 0-1. Battling here as he fouls it away. Hey. A punch out there. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. So the batting order turns over. And up next for Chicago, O'Neill Cruz. And that one fouled off. That misses off the outside edge. Base is empty one away here at the top of the night. That Whoa. misses the zone, and it's two and one. Swings through that one for strike two. They really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. That Big one misses, right. and the count's full. Strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Here's Trey Turner. Wouldn't oh, chase that right. time. That's a laser base hit. Now battle. He showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now, Josh Naylor. That's the ball. First pitch misses. Counts 1-0. Turner off the first with two away. And this is inside. Two 
Runner on the goal. Pitch inside. Safe at second, and that was not close. Well, it really doesn't matter what the situation is. When a guy like this gets on first, you know he's going to steal second at some point during the at-bat. Nice job to get in the scoring position. The defense probably knew it was coming, but they just couldn't do anything to stop it. And a foul ball. Two outs and one in scoring position. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Jose Marte. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And now the Mets Lead DH, up. Ronnie Mauricio. The three for three hitter. with two singles and a double. Ronnie. Mauricio. Just missed. Hey. Swing and a miss. This guy's sink has so break. much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. And Ball it is two. two and one. He got two balls, one strike. sure why he let that one go by I mean out of the hand it had a lot of the strike zone now sure it had some good arm side run at the Nine end more. to move to the outside part of the plate but with two more. strikes you got to be ready to swing it there and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands Taylor oh, in the box with one away as he takes ball one The Mets down by four. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. And that one ripped to left. Suzuki squeezes it, and there's two down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly now all it. over it, but sometimes you hit it too Moving hard and down. right at someone. You look for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. So they're down to their final out. Now it's the shortstop, Luis Angel Acuna. Fly ball down the line. Automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, dude. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise in the second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. And here's the first baseman, Omar Narvaez. Slapped foul. Runner at second, two down. Here in the last half of inning number nine. Next ball offering one. is downstairs. One ball, one strike. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah. there's a ball. That one to first. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. I'd say one of the toughest things is to sweep a four-game series. And I don't care if you're at home or especially on the road, even more difficult. But an amazing job today. This team came out and they wanted it. After having three, they got the fourth, demoralizing to the home team. But there's going to be some real celebration in their clubhouse after this one. And your final, 6-2. to two. The Cubs go home a winner for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Six runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left six runners on base. For the Mets, two runs, 10 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours.